One, two, three, four. We don't want your stupid war. One, two, three, four. We don't want your stupid war. One, two, three, four. We don't want your stupid war. One, two, three, four. We don't want your stupid war. One, two, three, four. We don't want your stupid war. One, two, three, four. We don't want your stupid war. When will we learn? That's all. I mean, it's ridiculous. We're going right back to where we were with the beginning of Iraq. And why don't people pay attention to... You know, Mark said, history repeats itself. First time is tragedy, second time is farce. And here we are. So the whole thing is possible, except Obama might be stupid enough to do it. So that's my two cents. It's convenient for certain people to pretend like these aren't imperialist capitalist wars and that war is some kind of like issue that belongs by itself is not connected to other struggles but it is um, and so this is about capitalism this is about uh, Western imperialism and um, yeah and I support uh, the right to Syrian self-determination so uh I don't know why uh, they're actually doing this. Uh, they seem very confused about their objectives. Uh, when Obama and also his members of his team talk about bombing uh, Syria, uh, they don't they don't make any sense. For instance, um, I heard someone say on Democracy Now this morning that uh, they no longer think that Assad must go. Well, I mean, we have had a lot of information about the kinds of people who oppose him, many of whom are uh, Al-Qaeda fighters and uh, who are uh, attacking the Christians, or the Alawites, and the Druze, and the other uh, uh, smaller sects uh, in the region. So uh, I can see I'm glad they don't want to get rid of Assad anymore, but if they don't want to get rid of him, then why do they want to bomb? Uh, they also seem to be having a problem dealing with the organization of information. They say they have a secret source of information, therefore they want to drive the United Nations uh, investigators out of the country of Syria so they could hurry up and bomb. But if we don't have the information as to what was really in those bombs and how many people were really killed, and who launched the bombs, then uh, how are they gonna figure out what to bomb? And I always wonder too, like if you bomb a ke chemical weapons supply, does that mean it gets dispersed in the air and kills everybody in the, in the local area? We've had enough, don't need no more. Obama, abort the war. We've had enough, don't need no more. Obama, abort the war. We've had enough, don't need no more. Obama, abort the war. We've had enough, don't need no more. Obama, abort the war. We've had enough, don't need no more. Obama, abort the war. We've had enough, don't need no more. Obama, abort the war. We've had enough, don't need no more. Obama, abort the war. We've had enough, don't need no more. My name's Kevin Wilson. I don't represent any group in particular right now. <laughs> But I'm just out here to say that we shouldn't be in war, going to war with Syria. Uh, right now, the president is refusing to consult with Congress before we start sending missiles and engaging in hostilities with the Syrian government. And we don't know what our end game is. The Speaker of the House has released a letter expressing some of the same concerns. 116 members of Congress have demanded that they be consulted before taking action in Syria. They're not doing it. It's illegal, it's unconstitutional, and it needs to be stopped. Has everyone heard already that the British Parliament rejected going to war with Syria? Did you hear that? They turned it down. They will not be going to war with Syria. Why hasn't the United States Congress gotten that same opportunity? I was holding a sign up earlier, Article 1, Section 8. That gives Congress power to go to war. We do not want the executive to have the unilateral ability to go to war. Yet this is what is happening. We need to put a stop to it. Only 9% of Americans support going to war in Syria. 
The president does not have the consent of the people or of Congress to go to war. We need to stop it. So, uh, what I always do with these in these situations is look for what the rationale is. It's got to be a rationale somewhere, even if it's only baloney. In this case, it's uh, to draw a red line around the use of chemical weapons. The U.S. just doesn't have standing for that. Option. If the U.S. is going to supply the same chemical weapons and sit on their hands while they use them, or while we exfoliate Vietnam, or while we hold the stockpile of tens of thousands of chemical weapons, where's the moral authority for us to uh, tell somebody else what they can and can't do? It just doesn't. Obama, the war, had enough, don't need no more. Obama, the war, had enough, don't need no more. Obama, the war, had enough, don't need no more. Obama.